Okay, boys, it's day eight, 10 days, 10 shaves. And I'll tell you what, I'm ready to stop shaving. No, I'm ready to get back to my routine of about three shaves a week. That gives my face time to heal. But this has been fun. As I mentioned yesterday, I'll be shaving with one of my favorites, Harry's. This is a five blade razor, but this is the limited edition the chrome handle. So we'll unbox this quickly and then we'll get to the shave. Gonna keep it nice and simple today. I'll be using Harry's Shave Gel. I love this product. It's awesome, guys. Foams up nice, which you will see. And my favorite, Harry's Post Shave Mist. What am I waiting for? Let's get shaving. But first, let's unbox. Now guys, I've always been a big fan of Harry's, but I'll tell you what, earlier this year, they introduced new sharper blades and wow, this is their chrome handle. They have all sorts of color coded handles, greens and blues and orange. The first one I saw was the orange one, but this is the chrome limited handle and it's nice, although it's not overly hefty. It's got some rubber grips on the back, so it's not slippy. It's got the five blades, sort of like a Mach 3 type sweep. The thing about the pivoting head on your Harry's is it's not really mechanical. These are rubber kind of straps. So it's like a minimalist design, guys. I would call that more of an organic pivot. You've got your rubber guide down at the bottom, your lube strip up top, and a precision blade on the back. Very nice, very smart looking handle. If you're a shaving enthusiast like me, and since you're here, you probably are, the limited edition Chrome Harry's handle is something that you wanna put in your repertoire. Comes with the classic Harry's travel cover and an additional blade. Okay, so eight days of shaving. Guys, we're gonna keep this nice and simple. I've just added near hot water to the face and I'm gonna go with this Harry's Shave Gel. If you look at the back of the product, they have your winning lottery numbers. It would be cool if someone actually won the lottery using those numbers. Just a little bit of gel will do, guys. Ah, very nice. Lathers up real nice. It's got a nice citrusy smell. Ah, feels good. And smells just as good. Now, if I wanted to, I could get a little thicker with that. Add a little bit more, a little bit more water. Looks better on camera, for sure. So you can get as thick as you want with this. And there you go. Let's get ready for the first pass. Oh, very nice. Sharp blades, guys. You want to take it nice and slow. And you hear the feedback. Harry's is definitely less protective than your, let's say your Gillette. There's more cutting power. So it takes a light touch and solid technique. If you're used to the bumper control of a Gillette razor, you know, it may be something that you have to acclimate to, but guys, that organic pivot 
just goes with the face. It's sort of like an elastic strap. It's gonna go as far as the face goes, no farther. And that's nice. Just feels like you always feel like the blades are in contact with the face. A little more near hot water and I'll add just a little bit more gel and we'll do a cross the grain cleanup cut. Which I'm only doing guys for the sake of the camera. Because I'll tell you, shaving every day, you really don't need it. One pass especially with the multi-blade, is really all you need. But I'm here, might as well do it. Oh yeah. Now to address the nooks and crannies, it's got a slim form factor. So you really can get up into the nooks and crannies with the blade, the blade head, but they do give you a precision trimmer on the back. That works pretty well, guys. I try to stay away from the precision trimmers, guys, because there's no real protection and you don't need it really with the Harry's. You might want to use it here to edge your burns, but you don't really need it, guys. Beautiful shave, oh, nice and slick. Now I'm gonna rinse off with cold water. This will close up the pores and get your face ready for the post shave. No nicks, no cuts, no tugs, no clogging. The only little weeper is where I use that precision trimmer. So I try to avoid the precision trimmers, guys. And with the slim form factor of that Harry's razor, I really don't need one. It was a mistake going to that precision trimmer, guys. But when you do have a problem, it's nice to have these green sticks from Barber Up. They look like a book of matches. Ah. No nicks, no tugs, no pulls. Just a little bit of a weeper I had to attend to because I used that precision trimmer. So if you can avoid the precision trimmers on a lot of these razors, guys, do it. Now let's get ready for the post shave. One of my absolute favorites, guys, is the Harry's Post Shave Mist with botanical extracts. And what I like about it, guys, you basically close your eyes and you mist it on. <sighs> Dries up real quick. Ah, but leaves you with a nice smell of manly flowers. All right, shave number eight is in the books, guys. I want to thank you all for being here every day. It's been fun. What will I be shaving with tomorrow? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think I should roll out tomorrow on day nine, and I will see you then. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. I'll see you clowns tomorrow.